and gentlemen, welcome to the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas. It is time for this for PBC pay-per-view on Prime Video as this event emanates from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, the 100th championship fight night in the history of this outstanding arena. Our main event, Gervonta Tank Davis defending his WBA lightweight championship of the world against undefeated contender Frank the Ghost Martin. But now let's meet our main event combatants. Please welcome with an undefeated record, 18 wins, no losses, 12 wins coming by way of knockout, fighting out of the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan, training in Dallas, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Frank the Ghost Martin. And his opponent, a man who has been an absolute superstar in the sport. He is a five-time three-division world champion with a record of 29 wins, no losses, 27 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the reigning and defending WBA lightweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, from Baltimore, Maryland, here is Gervonta Tank Davis. Patience is key to fighting Tank Davis. Yeah. Patience and being able to take a punch and be able to deliver a punch. Yeah. You're going to have to keep him off of you. Once he, he gets comfortable and realizes you ain't got nothing, he's coming. But at the same time, I feel like Ryan was performing okay. Rolly was performing okay. They just got impatient and the, uh, the inexperience showed in those moments. Hopefully Derek James can get my man on pace. I'm, I'm, I'm going with the Derek James effect that will help Frank. Yeah. The oh, Frank, hopefully you got that ring IQ. You're gonna need everything to beat this guy. It's just, it is what it is. You know that, I know that, we know that. Have we, have you seen that Frank don't got that? You've seen, what I'm saying is you see everything that you just mentioned We've seen Frank have all of that. Yeah. We've seen Frank listen to Derrick James. We've seen them come to the ring with a game. We've been in the corner. Yeah. So uh, it's just and seen him dig deep against Artem Hardatuni. Some people thought that fight was getting away from him. Yeah. He sweeps the last three rounds and drops him yeah, as well. Twelve. Yep. So it's fight fans. Welcome back to Luxury Tables. Javonta Tank Davis will return to the ring tonight, the first time since April 2023, when he faces Frank Martin in a prime video pay-per-view main event. Davis, arguably the face of boxing, will be defending his WBA lightweight title, who we believe will win and in the seventh round via a knockout stoppage. Davis has become one of the most popular fighters in the sport while rising through the ranks and building a reputation as one of boxing's top power punchers. Those who key in too much on Davis's power punching miss on the well-rounded, patient game he has built to create openings to land the big shots that finish opponents off. In his most recent outing, Davis crushed fellow young superstar Ryan Garcia in a catchweight fight, scoring a pair of knockdowns with a body shot for the second, keeping Garcia on the canvas for the referee's 10 counts. Davis was already a superstar coming into the Garcia fight, but the win took him to another level. For years, Davis had talked about big fights with other young stars around the lightweight division, but those meetings did not materialize. When the opportunity finally came, he made the most of it. I'm gonna break you up, I'm gonna split all that under your eyes. Every time I tell people something, it's gonna happen. 
what happens. Davy said at the final press conference this week, it hasn't even hit him yet. He'll see on Saturday. It's gonna hit him, especially when I touch him. What is he bringing to the table that I haven't seen? Frank Martin is a solid fighter with speed, power and tactical know-how. He's done the one thing fighters need to do to open the door to a championship opportunity and that is to win. At 18 wins, 0 losses, Martin steadily climbed through the rankings, culminating the career best performance in a one-sided match of Mikel Rivera in December 2022. That fight was viewed as a nearly 50-50 fight before the fighters entered the ring, but Martin made a case to win all 12 rounds. Unfortunately, Martin took a step backwards in his next fight, struggling to a narrow decision win against Artem. Martin was uncharacteristically passive for many rounds. It's hell in there though, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can get mean too. You know what I mean? I can get mean too, so. What was the best compliment you got maybe after everything was done? I thought you looking like, man, you beast. Yeah. You got something. Yeah. And that was that. Allowing Artem to stay competitive on the cards. In the end, Martin put together some good rounds down the stretch and scored a knockdown in round 12 to avoid the upsets. Now Martin will need to look far more like the man who ran up the score on Rivera than the one who fought Artem if he wants to take down one of the pound for pound most talented men in the sport. Frank Martin told Luxurtainment. This can go down however he wants it to go down. If he acts up, like I've been saying, you're going to see Javonta Davis get knocked out. If he acts up, he's getting knocked out, period. If he acts crazy, he's going to sleep. Calvin's telling me to push those buttons. Well, I'm coming to push every button he's got. Come out and expect a good fight. Let's get it. Now let's look at the strengths and weaknesses of both Davis and Martin. Power. Davis is known for his exceptional knockout power with a high knockout ratio. His punches can end fights quickly and dramatically. Speed and agility. He has excellent hand speed and footwork which makes him elusive and able to deliver punches rapidly. Counter punching. Davis is an excellent counter puncher, able to capitalize on his opponent's mistakes with precise and powerful counters. Experience. Davis has fought and defeated several high-level opponents, giving him valuable experience in handling different styles and high-pressure situations. Versatility. He can switch between boxing and brawling effectively, adapting his style to the demands of the fight. Now let's look at Davis's weaknesses. Defense. While Davis is a good defensive fighter, he has shown vulnerabilities to getting hit, especially when facing aggressive opponents. Stamina. In some fights, Davis has shown signs of fatigue in the later rounds, which could be a concern against a well-conditioned opponent. Distractions. Outside the ring, Davis had had some legal and personal issues outside the ring, which can be a distraction and potentially impact his focus and preparation. Now let's look at the strengths for Frank Martin. Technical skills. Martin is known for his solid technical boxing skills, including a strong jab and good footwork. Defensive ability. He has good defensive style, making him difficult to hit cleanly and effectively. Work ethic. Martin is known for his dedication and discipline in training, which translates to excellent physical conditioning and endurance in the ring. Ring IQ. Martin demonstrates a high level of ring intelligence, effectively reading his opponents and making strategic adjustments during fights. Now let's look at his weaknesses. Power. While Martin is skilled, he does not possess the same level of knockout power as Davis, which might make it harder for him to keep opponents at bay or end fights quickly. Experience. Martin has less experience against top-tier opponents compared to Davis, which could be a disadvantage in dealing with high-pressure situations and experienced fighters. Aggressiveness. Martin tends to rely more on his technical skills and less on aggressive offense, which could be a drawback against a highly aggressive fighter like Davis. Now 
Now let's look at the head-to-head -head considerations, power versus technical skill. Davis's power and aggressive style could be a challenge for Martin, who relies more on technical boxing. Experience factor. Davis's experience in high-stakes fights gives him an edge in handing pressure and adjusting strategies mid-fight. Endurance and conditioning. Martin's superior conditioning and discipline might help him in the later rounds, especially if Davis shows signs of fatigue. So guys, who do you have winning? Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment and have a great day. Yeah, Tank, Tank probably trying to get his, his get, get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way champion of the world. My goodness, this kid is patient. He has extreme punching power. And he has everything.